The graph below represents a student's checking account over time in weeks. Aaron is coming up with a description of the graph's y-intercept. All right, so the part we care about is just the y-intercept there. Remember, the y-axis here is money. Let's read through and figure out which of the following descriptions best fits the graph and the context. A, the checking account started at $200. Well, you can see the amount of money is 200 and usually the y-intercept represents how something starts, right, before anything else happens, before any time passes, because in this case, the number of weeks is zero. All right, so that could be the answer. B, the checking account decreases by $20 each week. Well, the checking account is decreasing, but is that what the y-intercept represents? No, so the y-intercept is just $200. Um, it changes over time, but that's not the y-intercept. The y-intercept doesn't change, so it is not B. C. The account decreases to zero dollars in 10 years. Uh, well, first it says 10 years, so that can't be right, but it is decreasing down to zero at some point, um, but that has nothing to do with the y-intercept. D. The checking account ended at two hundred dollars. Well, the checking account is ending at zero dollars, as you can see from it going down, so the answer here is just A.